Astronomers may have solved a long-standing cosmic riddle about the epoch of reionization, the last great transformational epoch in our universe. One team of astronomers used the James Webb Space Telescope to investigate the hypothesis that young galaxies rich with star formation were responsible for the event. Their findings suggest that on average, these galaxies in the early universe leaked enough high-energy photons to potentially rionize the entire cosmos. The results are not conclusive, but they point in an intriguing direction in solving this mystery. So, in this video, we'll explore this fascinating discovery and discuss what it could mean for our understanding of the universe. But before we continue, I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude towards our channel's supporters. Your generous support allows us to continue bringing you informative and quality content. We truly appreciate your contribution. Thank you so much for being a part of our community and for supporting our work. Billions of years ago, the universe was a lot smaller and hotter than it is today. It was in a state of plasma where electrons were separated from atomic nuclei. But something happened that transformed the neutral gas of the cosmos into an ionized plasma. And astronomers call this event the epoch of reionization. This is one of the great mysteries of modern cosmology. How did this transformational event proceed? Some scientists have proposed that quasars are responsible for ionization, but they are relatively rare and have difficulty covering the volume of the universe. Another hypothesis is that young galaxies rich with star formation are responsible. But in this scenario, the only way to ionize the entire universe is if enough high-energy radiation leaks out of galaxies and into the surrounding medium. So the question is, do galaxies actually leak enough high-energy radiation to potentially ionize the entire cosmos? One team of astronomers used the James Webb Space Telescope to investigate this hypothesis. They couldn't study the radiation directly, so they had to look for other clues. Using the James Webb's ability to study distant galaxies, they were able to measure how compact the galaxies were and how rich in star formation they were. They compared these galaxies to similar galaxies found in the present-day universe to create an estimate of the amount of radiation leaking from them. The results were intriguing. The galaxies in the early universe leaked roughly 12% of their available high-energy photons, this is just enough to potentially ionize the entire cosmos in a relatively short amount of time. However, the results are not conclusive because of the number of assumptions that the astronomers had to make. If these findings turn out to be true, they could change everything we know about our universe. It would mean that young galaxies are responsible for the epoch of reionization and that they leaked enough high-energy radiation to transform the neutral gas of the cosmos into an ionized plasma. It's a discovery that would rewrite the history of our universe. And now, it's time to answer one of your questions. This comment comes from Leo, who brings up a fascinating topic about the origin of the universe. Leo asks, What was there before the Big Bang and universe? That's a great question, Leo, and one that has been pondered by scientists and philosophers for centuries. According to the Big Bang theory, the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature. However, this theory doesn't offer an explanation for what caused the singularity to appear or what existed before it. Some alternative theories suggest the possibility of a cyclic universe in which the Big Bang is just one phase in a repeating cycle of contraction and expansion. Other theories propose the existence of a multiverse, where our universe is just one of many. While we may never have a definitive answer to what existed before the Big Bang, scientists continue to study the cosmos and explore these fascinating questions. Thank you for your comment, Leo, and for keeping the conversation going. And that wraps up today's video. If you have any questions or thoughts you'd like to share, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it with family and friends who might be interested. Thank you for watching.